Why learn music theory? What's it good for? I mean, it's fun. And if you like music, it's good to know more about it. But what's it good for? Let me see if I can demonstrate uh, in a way that non-musicians can understand and maybe be motivated to learn. You got 10 seconds. Memorize that. Look at it for 10 seconds and see what you can do to memorize it. Okay, now, was that 10 seconds? I hope that was 10 seconds. Can you remember what that was? Can you write it down? I'm gonna give it to you again in a slightly modified form. Five seconds, can you memorize that? Lalwak stay scrags, rag, sorry, no be of rust off. All right, how's that? getting better because it's partitioned. I'm going to give it to you in a different form and I promise you that it'll only take you about two seconds to not just memorize it but be able to write it down exactly perfectly. All cows eat grass, bovine farts. That is that. Is that. When we learn music theory, we learn to look at this and start to see it in parts and pieces like that. And then if we go a little further, we see what those mean in conjunction with each other. It allows you to appreciate it more, see other meaning and things inside of it allows you to see larger chunks and process them together so you can memorize and comprehend uh, large amounts instead of uh, random pieces. In practical terms, if you're just seeing letters, it's harder to memorize and understand. If you see words, then they're grouped. And then if you see them in grammar, right? Then you start to see sentences that have meanings and paragraphs and poetry and literature and stories. In music, we need to learn how to read and understand what notes are, what chords are, and then finally scales. And when we see all of these interact together, then we start to look and say, ah, I'm in the key of A, and this is a one chord, and these are non-chord tones. And when we get done a phrase here at the end of our idea, we have a half cadence, and you start to see chords and progression and other things as well. And there's certainly more to music and such than this, but this is the structural underpinnings, just like there's more to literature than that. But this is what you start first. I want you to think about your favorite story that you've ever read or had read to you or that somebody wrote. Even if it was in a movie form that you enjoyed, somebody wrote that and conceived of it first with words and things. Somebody had to write it. Somebody had to read it. Now I want you to think about analogs to that. How much more would your music appreciation, knowledge, retention, and insight be if you had this mastered and understood what people were talking to about there? All right, why learn music theory? Well, it's very worthwhile because it opens up the world of, of music to you the way that the ability to read opens up the world of stories and poetry and, and literature does.